All right, this question is quite tricky, but regardless of whether you can solve it or not, once I show you the solution, I'm pretty sure you will be excited. Which of the following squares is different from the others? And you're presented with four different choices. Each square contains nine small squares inside. Choices A, B, C, and D. Do you see patterns? Would you like to try to solve this question on your own? Give yourself maybe 10 to 15 seconds. Go closely with each square and look if you see any patterns. Did you figure out the answer? Let's continue to see how we can solve and get to the correct answer together. Sometimes I feel that I shouldn't reveal the answers to some of the questions. It's like a magician. Once you reveal the answer, you always remove the magic from the question. As usual, with any question, you always look for patterns. This would allow you to detect it on your own in the future questions. In this particular case, you see that we have a V pattern, and choices A, B, and C all have V patterns in the different dimensions. And choice D, in this case, does not have a V pattern. Maybe you can imagine some letter, maybe in another alphabet, but um, I don't see anything in English that you can imagine here. So the correct answer here is choice D. Let's recap. Always look for patterns. All squares show a V shape with the exception of one. And figure D shows reverted L shape, which is not similar with the others. So the correct answer here is choice D. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And now here's the question for you to try. On Sunday, Greg left his house at 6 p.m. and traveled a certain distance before arriving at his desired destination at 1 p.m. the following day. Assuming that his home and destination are in the same time zone and that over the course of his entire trip, he drove at an average speed of 38 miles per hour, how many miles did he travel to get to his desired destination? And you have four choices to choose from. Choice A, 722. Choice B, 747. Choice C, 801. And choice D, 837. Do you think you know the answer? If you know the answer, please make sure to post it in the comment section of this video so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to check out our daily question challenge in the community section of this channel. I also recommend that you check downloads in the description section of this video. Please also check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. I would encourage you to share this video with other people that might be looking for the job. This will help them to get prepared and pass assessment tests faster. Please consider subscribing and following this channel. We have a community of great people helping each other to get ready and pass the test. Please leave questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.